Hello Pisces, so they say that time's a charm. Let's hope it works out for your video. So if you know anything about Mercury retrograde, technology, communication, travel, making appointments, everything goes disarray when Mercury goes retrograde because Mercury is a planet of networking, communication, and information. So even our own mind can get become very disorientated during Mercury retrograde because all the connection of everything in our body is here so we can feel disorientated and a bit foggy during the mercury retrograde and i experienced it now because mercury retrograde even though it's not yet we're in the pre-shadow period but mercury retrograde is in pisces this month so me making the pisces video it was not working and why is it not working because mercury retrograde is in the sign of pisces so it'll show me the technology glitches and let me send you the message so that you understand. It's in your first house. It's a very transformative time for you, but understand, don't get stressed out. Like I literally found it funny. I made all the other videos, right? Whole 11 went off smoothly. Your video, this is the third time. Other two times it was not recording. Third time my rabbit was going crazy and started playing and jumping everywhere. <laughs> so I was like, whoa, can you see? That's what Mercury Retrograde is about. It's about trying to do something and then everything else starts happening and you're like, <laughs> take it easy, relax. Understand that that's just a, it, how it is and like laugh at it. That's what I do. I just laugh at it and be like, mm. like, I like I know Mercury's in the sign of Pisces, but I didn't expect making your video that I would actually have an experience like that. Like it just was not going. And it's for me to let you know that Mercury is in your zodiac. So embrace this time. So on the 8th of February, we have Venus moving to your second house. And this is before Mercury retrograde, which is on the 17th. So on the 8th, we have Venus going to your second house of finance um, and connection. So it's a very beautiful time for you to do something lovely and, you know, nice buy yourself something nice spoil yourself a little uh finances are looking good you know you're feeling blessed you're feeling good it's a beautiful time your birthday's almost coming up so happy birthday in february enjoy it you know just celebrate a little with that venus energy and venus is about love self-love especially in the, in the second house and the second house is about like feeling like you know the people around you like know your worth like kind of thing like you know you feel people around you actually feel grateful to have you around so around that time you'll really be wanting to cultivate those kinds of relationships you know that you feel like ah oh, you know you actually like having me around and you and i like being around you because i feel good around you i don't feel you know devalued and that's what mercury retrograde and uh, venus is offering you then on the ninth we have your full moon on the ninth we have your full moon and that's going to be in your sixth house so here you're going to be wanting to make career changes any career changes moving careers moving within you know in the space of your office all that moving reshuffling changing things wanting to do things differently how what can you invest in what can you create for yourself that's what you want to do there and you must know that venus in the second house means any creative ideas that you have that can actually boost your income so any creative ideas when you're thinking to maybe i should go for promotion maybe i should do this maybe i should cultivate this energy maybe i should take this creative energy that i have and turn it into a passive income all of that is coming through with the second house and then the full moon just shows you light on your finances like oh maybe you really should look at all your creative ideas and implement them and you know change within the career then we also have um with the sixth house your health take care of yourself uh watch your routine of like how you've been eating how you've been sleeping all of that you want to change your routine so that you actually physically feel well to take on the challenges and changes that you want to create within your career whether that's an actual move within you know the space of where you're working or moving in location all of that comes up with around the full moon which is on the 8th 9th of february then we have your mercury retrograde that was even now getting to me a little like in the sense that i had to experience the future was not coming through just was not <laughs> third time is a charm they say so mercury retrograde is going to be in your house right first house pisces 
are we going to have a season of mercury retrograde now we'll make a video about the transit of mercury retrograde so what's happening now is the house of self you're going to look at yourself from before what you used to do who you were how people saw you all of that energy and you're going to have experiences where you're going to want to change all of that you might even feel like you're doing something similar to something you've done in the past and now you want to change that, break that old habit or pattern or cycle. And this involves your relationships as well. You must know being Pisces, right, sun, moon or rising, that means that in your seventh house of relationships, you have that Virgo energy and Virgo is ruled by Mercury. So Mercury is in your house of relationships. So this is going to affect with Mercury retrograde, and the communication and the and, and it can bring conflict because when people misunderstand each other they just feel hell of a, like, frustrated so you can understand that this mercury retrograde you're going to feel that frustration you're going to feel those feelings not because it's trying to derail your life but it's showing you where you need to grow how do you need to change maybe you're not who you were before <laughs> maybe you've grown in a different way Maybe you want to, people to see you in a different way. It's going to make you want to break out of your shell. In a sense that because Mars is going to be around the same time that Mercury moves on this, like Mercury is retrograde is going to happen on the 17th. We also have Mars in your 11th house. Mars is a planet of action and 11th house is social, like your social network, right? So you're going to want people to see you for who you really are. Because Pisces can sometimes be very secluded and not really express who they really are. Because they're very sensitive people. They're very sensitive. So they sometimes aren't really who they are. But now you want people to see you as you really are during that time. And actually form those kinds of connections. So Mars is actually motivating you in your social network. With the Mercury retrograde showing you how you're changing. Who you are. Who you once were. What you really want. And it's making you want... To be that person, this new version of yourself, which is a healthier version in your relationships. And if it isn't healthy, you're going to want to kick that habit and come back healthier. So that's what you're doing within your relationships. You're cultivating it to a point of like, ah, this is me. This is you. Hey, hi, how are you doing? You want to be this different kind of person who you now have been going through actually a process, Pisces. I would really say you've been going through a, po a process and this has been happening with all the Saturn and Pluto conjunctions where you've been actually transforming yourself to this new version of yourself, a very empowered version. Like you, 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 you know, you've changed. You've just changed, Pisces. <laughs> You're a new person. You're a new being. And during this retrograde, it's going to emphasize that. You're going to have a new way of relating to other people and you want people to relate to you in this new person that you are. You want to... And you really focusing, like like I said, the career also comes up for you, Pisces, where you're wanting to create the changes with the full moon. So can you see that energy of wanting to create those changes? And the 11th house energy is about also social networks, as in the people we have around us, but it's also about organizations, about wanting to expand who we are so that it's around everybody. So say, for instance, if you even have a business idea or um, if you're working within a company, whatever your role may be in your career, you're wanting with that Mars energy to make it bigger, right? You want your, you want your social network, either whether it's being online or face-to-face, -face, you're wanting to take action within that whole to give off service of yourself to fulfill your dreams. And you're actively working towards that. So there's a lot of motivated energy in Mars. Mars takes action and you are called to take action within your social circles, within your social circles, whether that's friendships, whether it's colleagues, work related, you want to take action. You want to be this version of yourself. You want to offer something. You want to show who you really are. You And not only show it and like, you know, get rejected in a sense, because with that social circle, because of that Mars energy, it's actually drawing this energy to you that you actually become like acknowledged which is a beautiful thing because Pisces, you're breaking free. You're breaking free from old patterns where before you were a different person and maybe you weren't really being your self self. Now your self self is being pushed, especially when Mercury retrograde is in your first house. The first house is all about self, how we present ourselves to the world, everyone that we encounter. And now Mercury retrograde is saying, yay, hey, you know, there's been a new version of you developing, cooking, and brewing. 
allow that new version to come out, to play, to be real, to be there. It wasn't that you weren't real before. You just grew as a person. And now that you've grown as a person, when in a relationship, you want to see that growth within the other person as well. You want that growth. You want to have relationships that stimulate you and grow you because you are changing. So you expect changes around you with everything that you are also creating, if that makes a lot of sense to you, Pisces. So that's what's happening with your Mercury retrograde. And then on the 23rd, you have the new moon in Pisces, which is going to be magical, good for manifestation, good for your dreams. Let them all come out because you are allowed to manifest and basically channel energy that you want to take forward. Right? You're going to see all of this coming through in September, where you're going to see everything you've been manifesting coming through around that time where you've actually put all this energy into what you want to grow within your life. So you really are being rewarded with this Mercury retrograde. Yes, it can be disorientating and it can create some conflict, internal conflict, because you'll want to be like, maybe I should be who I was. No, be who you are. You're beautiful. You're beautiful and you have a magical soul. Allow that magic to touch all of us and, you know, change us and enlighten us. You're the 12th zodiac. You have a lot of wisdom to share with us. Allow that wisdom to come through. And thank you for watching the February 2020 video.